what up y'all it's your boy clev coming at you live on the bus so i'm gonna try and grade this fight as we're going hey there quirky people today we're gonna circle back to our favorite new avenger shang chi he had a total blast upon his debut and every one of us would love to see more of him right from the get-go he has announced himself as one of the best fighters in the mcu I mean, he could give the likes of Spider-Man and Black Panther a run for their money, even without any enhanced strength. He is so good that he did not get even a tiny bit rusty despite staying away from the Ten Rings for a decade. All he did on screen were some push-ups in the morning. But on the bus, he showed that his combat skills actually got better with time. Someone had been practicing his combat skills in secret, eh? Anyway, it's commendable that he didn't lose his touch after all those years. And now, he is ready to join the big leagues, because along with his fighting prowess, he also wields the Ten Rings of Power. I actually want a second Civil War event, just to see how Shang-Chi will do against certain heroes. While that could happen in the future, there are a few battles that we might not get to see at all. You're making me beat up grass! And those are Shang-Chi's fights against Captain America, Iron Man, and the Hulk. Well, we might not get to see two of these, but Hulk is still within the MCU. Although, he's obviously not the same now that he has lost an arm. Still, we won't shy away from pitting Shang-Chi against the old guns of MCU. I'm not pitting him against Thor, because right now, he is the strongest version of himself. Among the OG6, Shang-Chi could certainly prevail against the likes of Black Widow and Hawkeye. But let's see how he'll do against Captain America. Steve Rogers is certainly not the strongest Avenger, but he has a crazy amount of authority and respect in his team because he fights for what's right. He always punches above his weight. That's how he was able to take on the likes of Ultron, Iron Man, the members of the Black Order, and obviously Thanos. So counting him out of the fight against anyone would be a mistake. Yes, Captain America does have his limits. He obviously cannot battle someone like Scarlet Witch or Captain America for long but he can surely hold his own against a 10 rings wielding Shang-Chi. You got heart, kid. The reason I'm saying that is because Cap also has the added advantage that comes with Mjolnir. But the 10 rings could actually prove to be stronger than Mjolnir. So if Shang-Chi uses them perfectly, then he might be able to take Steve Rogers down. And without the rings, Shang-Chi does not have the added strength that Steve does. But he is a better combatant. And over time, he has learned several ways to kill a human. He knows the secrets of a human body that people don't. Being a master of the martial arts, he doesn't just know how to hit. He is also aware of where he has to hit in order to deliver maximum damage. He knows the precise pressure points that could even harm a super soldier like Rogers. All he has to manage is to go past Cap's shield defense. To conclude things, I'd say that Shang-Chi with the Ten Rings has a 60-40 advantage of beating Captain America. But when you remove the rings and Mjolnir out of the equation, these odds get reversed. Without the rings, Steve would have a 60-40 chance of winning. Okay, enough about Shang-Chi and Captain America. Let's go on to talk about the next candidate in this battle, who is Iron Man. Shang-Chi has great durability, and he'd certainly need that while battling Iron Man. But if he fights without the rings, then it would be tough for him to stand for long against Iron Man. He can take a few iron punches, but at the end of the day, he is human. And a human cannot stand lethal attacks like the repulsor beams of Unibeam Blasts. So without the rings, Iron Man holds the capability to kill him brutally. Shang-Chi will have to find a way to damage his suit in order to raise his chances. And if Tony uses his nanotech suits or Hulkbuster armors, then Shang-Chi doesn't stand a chance. But these odds will shift against Shang-Chi if he uses the 10 rings. These rings grant him immortality along with endurance and I believe that he might be able to destroy any suits that Stark would bring into play. Shit. It will be interesting to see whether the rings could defend him against Iron Man's one-off red laser attack. And barring that, Shang-Chi could win this fight fair and square with the rings. So without the rings, the odds are 90-10 in favor of Iron Man. And with the rings, Shang-Chi gets a 65-35 chance of winning. Now that we're done with the former leaders of the Avengers, let's bring in the big guy. How will Shang-Chi do against the Incredible Hulk? Well, it would be stupid to think that Shang-Chi would last long against Hulk without the Ten Rings. I'm sure he won't be able to perform a lullaby that allows Bruce Banner to take control. So he has a 0% chance of winning against the Hulk if he doesn't use the rings. But if he does use the rings, then I'd say that both these characters have a 50-50 chance of winning. He can certainly deliver a beating as strong as Thanos did to Hulk. 
and he also managed to kill the soul-sucking monster on his own. But the MCU has constantly nerfed down Hulk for a while now. He is one of the strongest Marvel characters, and he only gets stronger as his anger increases. So it's as I said, the winner of this battle will totally depend upon what the writer wants. In fact, that might stand true in battles against Captain America and Iron Man as well. Sadly, we just have to imagine these heroes going up against Shang-Chi now. Okay, that's all. What do you think of our analysis, and who would you want to pit against Shang-Chi? Let us know in the comments, and we'd come up with another battle video involving the Kung Fu Master. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!